I've been avoiding reviewing smart radiator thermostats for a while now because I'd heard they were about as reliable as Google Maps' ability to navigate via voice. Hey Google. Navigate to Adam. So when Tado asked me if I wanted to review their smart thermostatic radiator valves, I was kind of like, well, they are the only smart home product I haven't yet tried. And I'm lying in bed that night, and Shakira is all like, Try everything! And she does this every night when I'm trying to sleep. Every night. Try everything! No, Shakira! I'm trying to sleep! Try everything! No, Shakira! That's a bad Shakira! S Stop it, Shakira! <laughs> so I gave up. Shakira got her way, as usual. Try everything! And they're amazing! They are absolutely awesome! These little valves report the temperature of each room to your favourite smart home assistant, including Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Apple HomeKit, SmartThings, Hobbitat, and even Home Assistant. And because they can adjust the temperature of individual rooms, the less rooms you're heating, the more money you're saving. But there is one thing that these radiator valves do that you just would not expect. Did that work? Was that baited you in? Have you been baited by the master? Has this joke that I do every single week in and of itself become bait for people to complain about me doing the same joke every single week? Is this joke in and of itself master bait? Thanks to Tato for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their wireless smart thermostat and radiator valve kit. These smart thermostatic radiator valves save massive amounts of energy by only heating the rooms that you're actually planning to use. And the valves connect to a base unit which has open therm technology. And if you don't remember what open therm is, it's where the boiler and the thermostat are in constant communication so that the boiler isn't being told, come on, oh, you've overshot the temperature, go off. Oh, you've undershot the temperature, go on. I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed, I have one gear, go. Because they're in constant communication, you'll save loads of energy. This will only work if you do have an open therm capable boiler. Just Google it, you'll find out. It doesn't matter if you don't have an open therm capable boiler, Tado will still work with your boiler regardless, but you won't be able to take advantage of the open therm technology unless both the boiler and the thermostat have that technology installed. The radiator valves will last up to two years on a pair of easily replaceable AA batteries. Each room can be scheduled to go on and off at a certain time of day. Each room could be turned off manually or heated to a lower or higher temperature than the rest of the house. And it's this level of control that will save you a monumental amount of money on your heating bills, which we're all going to need when Liz Truss's tax reforms come through. So what we're going to do, we're going to give all the money to the rich people and then the rich people will slowly trickle the money down to the poor people. It just works! It just works! It just works! William, uh, Will, sorry, mate, I, I know you're probably busy. Um, could you press the subscribe button for me? It's just, um, I've been waiting now for weeks. I don't know if your name's William. You could be anybody, but everyone that's called William just went, what? how does he know? Press the subscribe button. I, I do know. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> the radiator valves last up to two years on a pair of easily replaced AA batteries, and they pair with the press of a button and the scan of a QR code. Inside the starter kit is a tiny ethernet bridge to connect to your router, a thermostat to explain to your kids that the reason that you can't afford to send them to college anymore is because of your house bills, and a heat link device to connect to your boiler, which can control both your radiators and water. The radiator valves have a display on them, which is super cool, and the display can be transposed vertically in case you have to install these things upside down. 
There are loads of adapters to fit practically any radiator valve, but most of us won't even need those because a standard radiator valve just swaps out like for like. And with my DIY skills, this brought me more pleasure than Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos' new show, Not Enough Yachts. Because that man does not have enough yachts. At all. Not enough yachts. There are ducks. There are ducks here. The install of the boiler controller is a little bit more terrifying, but the Tato app does do an amazing job of walking you through it, and even with my DIY skills, I was able to install it with absolutely no hassle whatsoever. Get out! Get out! Get out! Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Get in! Get in! Get in! Oh, I hate everything. So stressful. Stop dropping that, you prick! Oh, I know she's gonna come back to no boiler. Oh, there's so little space. My back is cramping up and I've dropped it again! I'm gonna drop it again. No! Stop dropping it! Just bend to my will, would you? In. Filled with hatred. It's just not real, is it? That's not real. I've tried so very hard to do a professional job. Very hard. And I've completely bollocksed it up. Oh god. Oh, it's on. I think I might have won. Oh, you beauty. You beauty. wins? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If you get this wrong, you will fry your boiler's CPU. It will be very expensive simply by getting the cables the wrong way around. I personally am capable of doing this because I know a plumber and he walked me through it, as well as the very good instructions from Tado. If you are not capable of doing this sort of thing, don't even try. Go get a professional because electricity is dangerous. It will kill you. The Tado system has geofencing, which is awesome. It means that if everybody leaves the house, all mobile phones are gone, then Tado will automatically switch your heating off, should you so wish. I haven't personally used this because there's always one of us here, and if there isn't, it's because we've gone on holiday, at which point I manually switch it off. But I have read good reports. As well as being able to adjust the temperature on the app, you can give the little valve a twist, and it will adjust the temperature there and then too, which is awesome. But on top of this, they've also considered the possibility that your child is an asshole. This is my favourite gif of a child being an asshole. And you can, of course, set a child lock in the app to stop this from happening, which is great, because you already can't afford to send your kid to college. It just works! Tado has a very cool interface for scheduling, and you can choose whether it preheats to get your radiators up to temperature for that time, or whether they will start heating at the time you chose, simply by enabling or disabling early start. The individual thermostats can also be calibrated manually, which is awesome, because what I found was some of the thermostats were reporting the temperature quite differently from what the actual room was. So I went around with a little manual thermostat, put it in my seating position for the room, figured out what the temperature was, and then adjusted it in the app. It's been flawless ever since. I've been using these things for nearly six months, and obviously during the summertime, it wasn't really a necessary thing. But while we were using them, it was capturing data as time went on to tell me how much money I was likely to be saving, and gives you things like, if a window is open, you can have them automatically turn off. Which is just mind blowing. Uh, this was a bit hit and miss initially, but bizarrely, I was finding it was getting more accurate as time went on. If we opened a door in the hallway, the thermostat would sometimes, not always, but sometimes it would go, there's a window open, do you want to switch the heating off? Amazing. And now, as always, for the elephant in... The elephant in the room. Tado is entirely reliant on a server on the internet. 
All of your schedules are installed on the cloud, they don't operate locally. This is only really a problem for you if one, your internet connection goes down, or two, and God forbid, Tado goes bust. I've spoken to Tado about this, they have no intention at the moment of localizing their services. It's something I seriously recommend they do because it puts a lot of people off. But what I will say is, if you're into Home Assistant, this won't be a problem for you. Home Assistant has both a local integration that you can use to get all of these things working on your network without that reliance, and also an integration that works with Tado over its server. So either way, you're kind of covered. Secondly, this is the best of the best out there. This means it's not cheap. It's not cheap because it has open firm support, which is a major, major deal, and I can't stress that enough. And it has Apple HomeKit support, which means you're covered over multiple systems should you decide you're fed up of using something that's great. You know, you could, you could go use Apple HomeKit instead. What? Lord Vader, destroy planet Earth immediately. I'm kidding, Apple Home gets great. He was only joking, Lord Vader, it's fine. What do you mean you've already done it? I personally prefer She That Should Not Be Named. I hate Google Home with a passion, but it works with that if you want it to. But the consequence is these aren't the cheapest systems in the world for this purpose. And the final thing isn't really a problem, it's something that exists by default with all TRV systems, not just Tado. You need to have a bypass radiator. This is one radiator in your house that doesn't have one of these valves on it. I don't know why. I think it's dangerous for your boiler, perhaps, to not have a bypass radiator. But this means that you will have one radiator in your house that comes on all of the time whenever any of the other radiators decide they need heat. This isn't a major problem, usually people have it as a towel radiator, uh, or they have it in the hallway, and either way, it doesn't really make a difference, it just, I mean, if you didn't have this system, all of your radiators come on all of the time whenever the heating is on anyway, so it's just one radiator that will be doing that instead of all of them. These things are great, I can't stress that enough. The only thing that might put people off is the fact that it's not entirely local, but that can be solved with Home Assistant. They're really good looking, they work exceptionally well, the level of automation that you can achieve is fantastic, and they are definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, saving me a whole load of money on my energy bills because it's math. As pure math. When you get down to it, the less radiators that are on in your house, the less your boiler is working, and the less gas you are using. It's as simple as that. That's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That would tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video, and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people running down your screen are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, I'd still be working the day job, and I mean that wholeheartedly. I would not be here doing this if it wasn't for these people. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. It just works. It just works. <laughs> what? There is a home assistant into I'll be starting this again. <laughs> Damn it. Tado operates entirely. Oh man. I'm so ill. I <laughs> have big time COVID right now. Oh.